welcome along and welcome back to six ashes it is the first day of spring we've moved into our fourth year on here and uh yeah the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this shed it is fairly ugly it doesn't fit in and i have something uh that we can replace it with so let's sell this first uh so yeah we'll sell that uh that gives us about ten thousand back which is great uh, we do have this sitting at the back here, so I need to go and get the tractor and move that out of the way before we can place ourselves a new shed down there. Uh, but we, I do have one that will fit. We have one that will fit quite nicely. Uh, it will give us a little bit more storage space. I need to work something out, though, as to exactly where down here we might be able to store seeds and everything like that. I know I said last time uh, that I was thinking of... Uh, basically having the storage shed up the top uh, to do that because we couldn't get rid of everything i've updated the map object hider mod and it now works so uh, what we want to do is get rid of that top one up there increase the size of that field uh, so that we have a nice big grass field up there uh, possibly with some storage area i'm uh, i'm not sure at the moment i think i might just turn the whole thing to grass uh, the downside we've got to that is uh, we need to sort out our road going up that way. So uh, we've got that at the moment. Uh, but we'll be doing that today and then trying to work out what we're going to do with the rest of that land. Uh, and right, let's just bring this into here. What kind of condition are our forks in? Yeah, pointing upwards a bit. This is going to drop the moment I go anywhere near it, I think. Oh, no. There's next to nothing in this. I mean, this, it looks like an empty frame. I think it has like 10 litres or something in it. Yeah, 100 litres of liquid fertiliser in this. So we'll just move that out of the way at the moment and uh, put this over here somewhere. I'll put it in front of the, uh, in front of our fuel station. I also need to sort out the ground around our fuel station. And uh, currently that that's not quite right. We also seem to have a rather large bump there, so we might smooth this. But let's get our shed into this area here. And the one I've chosen is... I found this on the Mod Hub. It's a little metal shed, which is this one here. Metal garage for 8,000. So I'm just going to come down here, get as close in as I can, because I want to, I want to line it up with the back, really, more than anything else. Turn it round, and you can see it fits in this gap really quite nicely. We get that wall, that, that, that. We should be able to get a good feel for flat. Get as flat as we can, yeah, like so. And then line it up with the rear of our other shed. So trying to get this in place is going to be funny. That is kind of the long way around, but never mind. Yeah, there we go. And then there. And we can check where it is by how much it appears. And there. So that is uh, cost less than we got back for the other shed. Uh, we've given it a good bit of space and it fits in here wonderfully. I'm really quite happy with that. That is a, a, a good little shed to fit into that space. Much better than what we had there before. Uh, and just gives us a, a little bit of storage space. So that's good. Let's go and uh, switch the front of this round. Because the other job we have to do today is the item that we saw last time. We've got those four alfalfa hay bales up at the top uh, that are 4,000 litres. Uh, I'm actually thinking that that's how we're going to continue uh, doing hay for our horses. We don't need to do anything other than um, hay bales. And uh, we have so many bales up there anyway. That it actually just makes sense uh, for us to, uh, to do those. So let's do that. And uh, just have that little field of alfalfa up the top there that allows us to uh, get a few hay bales for our horses as we go through the year they don't use that many and we are pretty much full on them anyway 
So reverse this up and hook it on. And we're going to head all the way up to our BJ and go and grab those four bales and bring them back here. Now, these bales have been out here for most of the winter. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good to see that they are okay. Um, as alfalfa is, it doesn't diminish in the same way as the grass does. Uh, and so we end up with a pretty good setup uh, for doing these. We get about four bales off this field, as I said. Uh, they dry out nice and easily. And we end up with a good uh, means of feeding our horses. We don't have many. Uh, we don't have many horses. Uh, they bring in uh, a nice little bit of money. We might actually increase the number of horses we have. See if we can offset uh, what it costs us for our stable hands to come in and uh, look after them, because that does cost us a little bit each day. Uh, and another horse is probably going to actually completely offset that. Uh, now that we have a nice stable setup, uh, stable setup, uh, with all of our horses uh, being fed, being ridden, and uh, and setting up, we can actually increase the amount. Uh, if we were to do a little bit of riding ourselves and uh, and stuff like that, we would actually increase how much we make from the horses each day. But we make a decent amount, and it's it's fairly good. So I'm not too concerned by that. Let's get this down. Four bales should fit across this uh, cane trailer rather nicely. And just putting them on here and getting these out done. Clears this up, ready for us to hopefully do a cut uh, later this year. Uh, four bales of hay a year at the moment off here is fine absolutely fine we have a ton of hay bales already uh it uh, it just means that we uh we keep things topped up rather nicely and can use the land that we've got elsewhere for other ways of bringing in cash uh for example uh doing uh doing silage with the uh the grass fields we have we are going to get our other grass field properly set up this year and do that uh, we're probably the same with the horse silage, but uh, I want to try and sort that. Oh, that was not a good unload. Let's see if I can move those two in a better position. So I caught the side of that one. There we are. This is why you should strap your bales down as you're loading. Because you end up messing up what you've already got on that. Like so. Right, let's pull those off and we'll strap that one down as I've just said and then that should allow us to get this one on and we might reposition the final one there as well right that's got those done let's strap that down and strap where's my strap there's one there one there isn't one towards the back that's a bit weird i'm wondering if that's because we have extensions on that but uh yeah that's that's strange i can't strap that one down the way to test it would basically be hook up and do the strap on and get that working let's bring this round and in there we go nice and straight and then we can load these up and get them back to our farm and into our shed. We've got space, so I'm not going to get too close to the other one and uh, risk knocking it. Let's put that in the middle. And there we go. Right. So that has got uh, those on there. I am going to strap all to see if, see if we are missing straps on other sections of this. So there we go. And hook that up. Put that in, strap it down. Yeah, there is no middle strap on that. There's an end strap, and uh, but there's nothing over the wheels. That is really weird. Hopefully, that will be fine, though. 
Let's uh, get this trailer back to our main farm and get these unloaded. We've still got some fairly cold temperatures in the ground uh, and six hashes at the moment. It's minus two um, and even the air temperature at the moment is minus one, which isn't great for us. Uh, we could really do with everything warming up a bit. We are going to be in a position where we're going to get very small window to get our crops in. We got the oats in at the end of last year. They have not germinated yet. Uh, they've not failed either. Uh, if we have a look here, you can see that the fields here, field 11, which we planted, that is currently, yeah, there we go, uh, is currently planted. Um, we've got a couple of patches where the germination has failed, but that is very, very much still uh, an alive crop for the most part. Which is very good news. Uh, makes me quite happy to see that. Uh, but we are in this position where the rest of our fields are all going to have to be done within a window of about... Uh, well, let's have a look. Within a window of... Uh, yeah, this is not a big window. Especially if the ground stays cool. Uh, and we need, we need it to get above one degree in order to... Or above zero in order to actually be able to do any planting at all. Uh, we've got carrots, canola, onions, and oats to get in. Uh, canola, we've got a fairly small window. Uh, oats we've done. Uh, onions. Onions and carrots, we're okay for a while. Uh, and what's our other one? Uh, oats. Oh, we've got a double batch of oats so we actually have some spring oats to get in as well uh, it's uh yeah it's not great we've got a, a fairly tight uh setup to do so we're gonna give it a go but we'll we'll see where it leaves us now this i think taking two off at once may not be something i want to do at the moment because yeah i've got a single bale to go on the bottom yeah, so we'll bring this round here. We'll take that off, and then we'll take a single bale. Like so. And we want to get that in next to here. I'll pop out, it'll be easier to see this. Yeah, like that. So these are all our hay bales. So you see, we've got, we've got a good collection of hay bales here. Plenty for what we want to do. out there we are and then uh this this only adds a couple to it uh same for the straw i think our cows might uh, cows horses i'm doing it again horses might need some straw uh so we are gonna give them some of that yeah when i've got cows i call them horses and when i've got horses i call them cows just seems to be the way things go first out of here then we might need to tarmac this top end we're driving on that grass quite a bit and then we'll get this these two out and just place them at the end and then i need to switch over to my pallets whoa that has not let go of that there must be an invisible one here yeah right there so I wonder why that was not showing up. That is weird. But we've got it off. It's all good. It's let go of it. And we can just swing around here and put these alfalfa bales in. The alfalfa hay will uh, be a good way to feed our horses. And in fact, we do not need all of the uh, all of the grass fields we've got. So I'm very tempted to, uh, seeing as one is a very good field, uh, to replant that with a another crop, uh, and then our horse grass field. Uh, we'll leave that as it is, and we've got yeah. We've then just got our weird grass field uh, set up that is. It's not ploughed at the moment, so it probably needs to be ploughed and replanted with grass. This is not one I'm going to get able to get in at a good angle. Fortunately, 
I need to come out and reposition. So I'll get these repositioned and then we're going to go and switch over and get the forks on this and head up to our other shed to basically clear that out and get that stuff down here. But I've got my trailer up here now. Everything we've got up here. So we've got... Oh, we were going to remove that last time. Let's go and have a look at this. Do we have any lime in it? We do. We have a little bit of lime in the bottom of this. So I need to get rid of that because we've got that rented. And that is costing us money every day. I'm going to try and get this on a level patch up here. Like so. Well, that's a little more level, but not overly so. Let's attach those. Uh, it should give us a slightly better unloading with any luck. So long as we haven't moved it so far that we can't get to the front of it. Um, we'll see how that goes. We've got a few bits in here. We've got a little bit of... Uh, we've got a couple of pallets of seeds. We've got a uh, few bits of fertilizer and herbicide. Uh, we've got some solid fertilizer and we've got some seed. Well, actually, those seed potatoes, I think. Because we're not actually... Yeah, those are seed potatoes. We're not actually doing potatoes at the moment. So, uh, those kicking around. I don't think we can sell them, unfortunately. Uh, I'd like to, because they are... As I said, they are seed potatoes. So, they're not much use to us. Come on. Soybean pallet. It would help if I lined myself up properly and went in like that. There we go. So get this on there and the other pallet that we've got. And then uh, we'll be in a position where we can do something about this shed. And we just need to get the rest of this equipment back. I'm going to have to reverse this up. I had, as I feared, uh, put the trailer in slightly the wrong place. There we go. So this would do as a sugar beet pad if I was doing sugar beet. But as I'm not, I'm not sure. Then we probably want to try and reclaim this as field. And I think we can get a uh, road all the way around the edge of this field and up to this top corner. Uh, sort of parallel to the, the road we've got coming in. If we could take a piece of hedge out, that would be great. Uh, but as I can't uh, with the... I don't think I can with the mod. Let's go and have a look. If I go H up to that. Yeah, it only hides the collision box. It doesn't hide the actual hedge. So I still think that we, we've got that trouble. Uh, we can get rid of all the doors and everything we've got on here. Uh, and, and therefore get rid of this whole shed. But we can't get rid, of, uh, get rid of any hedges, which is a pity. It's one of those things I want. To, I, 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 I really want to have going forwards in farm sim is a much more configurable setup on the farm. So much of what farm sim uh, 19 is is to allow you to customize and alter your farms uh and that's and that's definitely the intention with how the placeable systems is uh and i think i i'm very much looking going forward at that being taken more advantage of certainly I, i'm to the point where you know considering uh build trying to build my own map where that gets taken into account because uh I love the idea of, of starting with something and then being able to uh, build your way uh, and, and rework your farm how you want. So, uh, yeah. And I think the trouble certainly early on in Farm Sim uh, 19's existence is that there weren't a lot of placeable British sheds. Uh, there are at this point. You know, it's, it, it's something that, that could be done. But hey ho, we uh, do have the map object hider mod, which is really, really useful uh, for doing that as well. Let's get this. But how you do placeable hedges without filling the 
ownership menu with just tons of hedges and causing that as an issue I don't know that is that is the only downside I can see to doing that I'd like to see them more demolishable maybe maybe something in the same way as the shrubs do you know you can plow them under would be good or or if you could cut them uh, and, and destroy them that way would be good anyway let's get the rest of this loaded up and then we can take it all that down to the main farm and uh, we can talk about my plans for them so I've managed to get everything on our trailer amazingly we had to uh, I had to load up this potato uh, crate from the back and get it over the top here uh, but we have a now empty shed which is perfect uh, what we're going to do is get this back down to our yard. I'm not going to unload it right now uh, because we need to decide exactly where we're going to put all of this stuff. Uh, but I think I've figured it out. I think I'm beginning to have an idea in my head where everything in our yard is going to fit. So let's take this back down to our farm, uh, drop the trailer off, and then we can come back up here for some of our equipment and get that back i think we've basically got two more trips to go so we'll bring this back down here i'm going to take this out the back so we want to try and maneuver this down the side of our barn perfect and i think the best place for me to do all this is actually going to be to have uh, this shed here as maybe my liquid fertilizer and herbicide and a uh, place store my uh, my um, sprayer in there uh, and then in here is where we will put the solid fertilizer and the lime uh, and then I think we might move this trailer a bit and just just shift things around a little bit this actually over here is a perfect trailer shed so uh, we're, we're going to have a play around a little bit, I think. What I'm going to do for now, though, is just drop this off here uh, so that we can come and deal with this later. Hoses off. Uh, and I'm also going to just drop off my forks as well. We don't need them down here for now. So switch over and drop those off. Uh, because we're going to put something on the front of here to get it back. Uh, so let's head up the top. We'll go, go and get our solid fertilizer spreader. Both, in fact, of our solid fertilizer spreaders. And because we have a front three point on this, that means we can just drive up to this one. Make sure that is clear. Because this is our spray tractor as well as our... Uh, as well as our uh, forklift or our uh, yeah which is why I'm considering actually putting the lifting stuff on the 6810 we can put a front loader bracket on that and that would probably serve us better uh, it'd be slower but it would probably serve us better in the long run whoa that did not like that connection but it is on it so we've got uh, yeah we've just got lime apparently in both of our uh bits so let's get this back down to our farm and get both of these off uh, we can unload the lime before we return this uh spreader so again we're back down the side of our shed here and just gonna put our front one in here first so lower that down and we'll just leave this here for the minute uh, and then we want to back this up and kind of put it in a place where it's going to unload the lime somewhere where we can move it so unload that perfect um, and now with that empty we just drop it off the back and we can return it garage least items return there we go and that is all done at some point i really need to buy this we've, we've got that and uh, yeah we we need to buy this stuff 
Uh, we've got 20,000 at the moment. I don't know if it'd be enough for us to be able to do it this year. But certainly we need to need to get that stuff bought, I think. Let's take this back up the top, though. And we're going to get the sprayer down here next. And then uh, once we load that up, we can get rid of our top shed. So here we are, our last bit of equipment. Left up here. I think we're then in a position where we can start looking at getting this area, this field, a little bit more productive for us. It is just grass at the moment. Right, we can plow it, put a, a roadway around it, and end up with a, uh, a very, very useful bit of land. It is quite, it's, it's an odd area. Right, let's lift that up. And that is all good. I'm going to put my front loader down a little bit. There we go. So we're a little bit more compact. And then we turn all this off. Because it is time for us to say bye-bye to this shed. So over here and here. I want to lose the door first. Yep. Uh, so take that door out. And take... Uh, this door out oh there we go uh yeah so we'll take out the door uh and then we need to take down the shell so come over here and bam and there we go so we've got a nice space now what i think we might do as i said i think we're gonna have a road come up around here uh and if i keep this as sort of a, a storage or, or tipping area we could have the road go across the front here like this and round uh, and do it that way alternatively i can smooth this bit down here so that we then get a road that comes down here and sort of hugs the hedgerow so uh, i'm interested to see what you guys think we're not going to be doing that today because we, we've got to plow the whole thing before we can do that um do i smooth this out and uh and and keep that bit of concrete slab we've got there or should i uh not and uh, we can just go the whole way around uh let me know in the comments down below now i've got a little bit of liquid fertilizer in this I think we should probably fill this up and then maybe empty it out uh, just to basically clear things up a little bit. We have, that's the green I think is the herbicide. The uh, yellow I think is fertilizer. Am I right? Yeah, that's liquid fertilizer. So we could empty out the liquid fertilizer on the other side. Where is our little bit of liquid fertilizer? I must have moved that out in the other yard. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to reverse up here. Can't see anything reversing this way. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So ooh. let's not whack our sprayer on the gatepost. Carefully bring this round. And we'll just refill this here. There we go, and that takes that little bit, and then we'll head down the side and refill the rest into the back as well from the other side of the trailer. Move back it up, and then refill that. And hopefully that, yeah, that should then empty that. Perfect. Uh, and with 2,000 litres, that should allow us to empty this and uh, just get a single full Bowser of it, I think. So I I'll switch to the right one. There we go. Uh, and then we got... Wow. Is that... So how much... How full is that? Because I think those hold 2,000 litres, don't they? That would that it would be weird. Switch over and empty that as well. Eleven hundred. See when I mouse over those, it doesn't tell me. That is very very strange. 
Uh, but we can put those away now. That will all be good. And get this out of the way. We're going to have to get the other tractor, I think. Get that trailer out of the way. And rearrange things around this yard a bit. Back this up to this trailer. And then this is better suited in the other shed. Or down the other side. Uh, it is the trailer that we use to go and collect stuff. And uh, pick stuff up from the shop. And is generally a little more useful in that kind of regard. I think it actually has about as much storage space as our, our big one does there. Or our bale one does there. Because I don't think it's any bigger particularly. But that would then... Putting the front loader on here would actually make the 6810 uh, more use of our, as a yard tractor. Uh, which makes sense. Uh, and we could then still use it for carting if we wanted. Or we could use the 60... Oh, the 7840. Uh, but yeah, we'll put this in here and in this shed. There we go. And that then just frees us up some space to put the other bits away. And what I want to do is also... Uh, yeah, we need to get that front tank off there. Let's turn that off. Then I need to work out how this is going to work. Because this wants to be our spray shed. Well, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put fertilizer and the herbicide bowsers down this side here. These ones should use the hose mod. So if I can get the hoses out the side of here like this, that is going to be a better position for us. Unfortunately, I think that lime is in the way. So we'll just move that out of the way as well. Okay, there we go. And grab that. The idea being that this, this shed we have here, this is going to be our... Uh, basically for everything we spread and plant will be in here so i'm going to put liquid fertilizer and uh, herbicide in this end one i'm then going to put uh, solid fertilizer and lime in the next bay and then in the final bay uh, before we hit the workshop part uh, is where i'm going to put seeds and our drill uh, and that way we should have a lot of uh, everything sort of nicely organized there like that that's taken that round and then after that uh we're in a position where uh, we can then work the rest of our farm Ooh. we may end up having to store a trailer i think in our grain store area but i was kind of expecting that anyway so that's not a huge loss or huge problem. Just going to nudge that round. Make sure we get the metal bits so that we don't go to the side of it. And bring this out. Uh, the other advantage is that this actually fits under this section here. I'm not sure it would fit under the others. So that's why we're putting the sprayer in this end one that down there like so done oh it's just sort of bounces all over the place that should give us enough space to the left there to um, get the other stuff in right that's not enough space right i can get the rest of this unloaded because this is getting a bit fiddly so there we go. That's everything rearranged. We're just going to put this down here. I want to close that up. Yeah, there we go. I'll close that up. And then we'll take our cedar off. Uh, so we've got plenty of space along the back here for our seeds. We've got our lime and our fertilizer here along with our spreader. Uh, and then in here we've got our sprayer along with our herbicide and our fertilizer there. Uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, we could conceivably take these two and this and uh, and put them in here and make a little bit more space. Uh, I think if we find ourselves running out of space, we might do that. Uh, what I have got 
uh, is those seed potatoes still on the back of there. I think what we'll do is I might run those to a sell point, see if they will actually sell quickly. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, then we can uh, we can get rid of those. Uh, all in all, though, I'm pretty happy with this. We've got... Uh, so this, I think, we're going to move. We'll make a little bit more space for ourselves. Uh, moving that in uh, along this edge here. So it's still easily accessible. Um, and then we can put our other trailer there. And I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that will then be storage space for everything. So I'm pretty happy with all of that uh it's coming along very very nicely put this tractor in the shed here for now and just lower that there we go and uh yeah i'm just gonna see where the best place for us to sell potatoes is right now so let's see potatoes of uh standard ones because these are just a pallet of standard potatoes uh best place for those is sprouts farmers market which uh looks like it's up the top yep that's right up the other end so uh let's take our little 6810 uh, up there and see if this pallet of uh, potatoes will sell up there uh with any luck it will coming up on sprouts farmers market now and i'm really hoping that we're gonna make enough money to make this trip justified uh, there's not that much in this box uh, and I'm kind of hoping that the uh, the actual trigger is high enough to unload these so uh, we're about to find out we'll reverse this up here see what we can get for them uh, we get as I said we have no need for these is it gonna do it it's not ah oh, that's annoying um, I will have to get my fork up here, I think, and see if I can unload this. See if it will even take them, because it may not. Does it say seed potatoes on it? It's not telling me what's even in that crate. Um, so, yeah, that hasn't worked, but that's okay. We've got the rest of our yard sorted. So, I'm going to leave this here for today, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.